Hello everybody, this is part 2 of modeling a conceptual faucet. In this part, I would like to do a demonstration of how we can have this region nicely blended. Okay, let's start. Firstly, let's trim off the interior regions of this model. Okay, I would like to convert this model into a solid and to do that I'll need to cover up these openings. Okay, let's start by attempting to cover this up. Okay, if you zoom in close, you'll notice that there's a bit of misalignment from the edge to this curve. So um, if you were to try to create a surface from planar curve, it will not work. So what I'm going to do is to firstly extend this surface then uh, create a surface over here and use it to trim off this uh, excess region okay click the untrim right mouse click untrim and then trim off this excess region Okay, do the same for here using the surface on planar curve again. Okay, let's join this into a solid. Okay, we got a solid. Okay, now I want to use a solid uh, blend edge to create an initial blend over here. So I'm going to use a blend edges, uh, right mouse click, uh, set the radius to, to 9, okay. Okay, great, we got a blend. Okay, let's analyze the surface using the environmental map. Okay, this part seems to be, seems to be nicely blended. However, these regions are very sharp and I will want them to be more rounded. Okay, unfortunately, I don't think I can use the solid fillet or blend edge method to to round this region because uh, this area is too sharp and most probably it will fail so what I'm going to do is uh, use the surfacing method to resolve this area so firstly uh, let's uh, explode this model into the various surfaces and I'm going to bring back this uh, initial uh, creation curve okay so I want to use this To create like a pipe okay so using the circle around curve okay I'm going to create a sweep one rail Okay, I'm going to uh, extend this so that I can have enough uh, region to do a split. So I'm doing a split, select object to split this and this, cutting object will be this. Okay, now I can remove this and remove uh, these regions. Okay. Let's hide all the curves 
okay now I want to create a surface over here using the blend surface so first edge second edge and setting the continuity on both sides to curvature okay now um, I need to move this and to here okay but firstly let's uh, do some fine adjustments to the points okay move this here Let's use some edge shape to fine tune the surface. Okay. Okay, now we need to create a nice blend over here. And to do that, I will need to use the extra iso curve to put a iso curve over here, which will be used to trim off this region. So I go to curve, curve from objects, extra iso curve, click on this surface to put our iso curve. Okay, if the iso curve is not um, displaying the correct direction, you might want to click the toggle to get it to be the correct orientation okay make sure object the end snap is turned on okay and we'll use this to do our trim trim off this region okay great i want to remove this curve okay next uh, i want to uh create a curve here and have it uh match to this edge okay so I'm going to use the interpolate point method. Make sure it's set to degree three to create our initial curve. Okay, so we got a curve here, and I'm going to use the match curve method to match this to this. Okay, and set the continuity to curvature. Okay. I don't think I will want this point so let me delete it and I want to do some fine adjustments over here let's type and bulge okay Okay, now I want to uh, create a curve over here. I'm going to use the adjustable blank curve. Okay, and set to curvature for both corners. Okay, now we can create a surface here. And I want to use the sweep to rail to do that. Okay, so sweep to rail. First rail, second rail. Okay, you can see that this is too long, so um, I need to split this edge, okay, before I can even execute the sweep tutorial. So, uh, let's uh, go to analyze, edge two, split edge. Okay, select this edge and split it, make sure the object, the end snap is turned on, split it at this end here, okay. So, let's re uh, visit the sweep tutorial again. So, uh, first rail, second rail, cross section, make sure it's uh, edge uh, not a curve, okay. Okay, and you can set this to curvature, the matching here to curvature, okay? Click OK, okay? Let's turn up points, okay? Okay, I want to do a, a match here. Okay, let's analyze the surfaces, analyze, 
zebra okay see that there's a mismatch here so i want to uh, align this better okay so um, let's remove some control points over here first Okay, now let's do the matching. Match surface. Set it to tangent. Okay, set it to tangent. And make sure you use a preserve isocurve direction. Okay. I think to be on the safe side, I want to match this to position as well. Okay, so select this, this. But now I match the position. Okay, just to prevent any kind of uh gap formation okay so let's uh, check this again okay it's uh, better now as you can see okay you can use adjust mesh okay you can see yeah it's, it's, uh, it's better than, than, than just now okay so um, now I need to create a four-sided uh, edge over here so that I can create a surface. Okay. Don't need this. Okay, so I'm going to create a curve here using the same method as previously. So in the bullet point, snap this and I want to snap to the mid of this area here. Okay, around that around the, the area okay and then have this match to this edge okay so I'm gonna use the mesh curve match this to this edge here okay and set it to curvature as well okay okay I want to trim off this 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 place okay trim out this this region here and to do that I need to use the pull curve to pull this curve onto this surface okay so go to pull curve to pull the curve onto this surface you can see over here yeah and then we use this new pull curve to trim away this region go trim I don't need all these curves anymore. Okay, let me delete this. I create a new uh, adjustable blanker. Okay, set uh, both sides to curvature. Okay, now let's create a new um, surface. And I'm going to use the sweep to reel again. Okay, we got the same problem here. This uh, edge is too long, so uh, let's split it again. So analyze, edge to split edge. Okay, select this and split it at here. Okay, so let's uh, go back to sweep to rail. First rail, second rail, it's my cross section, this is my cross section. Okay, and set A and B both to curvature. Okay, A and B both both to curvature. Click OK. Okay. Okay, to be on the safe side, I think I want to do my own uh, matching over here as well. Let's uh, turn on the zebra. Okay, there's some misalignment. So, let's do the mesh surface again match this to this set it to tangent okay and make sure you got the preserve isocurve direction okay Okay, I think uh, slightly better. Okay, so I think uh, to be uh, 
same that the, these two age are actually uh, in contact, I think I will want to do another match just to be sure, but uh, setting it to position, okay? Uh, match the surface edge, okay? Match this, uh, just set to position, okay? Okay, let's uh, join this and analyze using environmental map. Okay. Seems quite okay. Okay, now uh, let's uh, mirror this good side onto the other half. Okay. Going to use a rectangular plane as a cutting object. Trim. Okay, great. Okay, with that, I come to the end of part two. See you around. Bye.